Yo, what else going on YouTube? My name is of course Catman Joe and welcome back everybody to another brand new video on the channel. Today we are back with another Minecraft command tutorial showcasing how to make a working scoreboard in your world with absolute ease. So yeah, without further ado, let's just jump right into today's video. So before we actually show how to do the actual command itself and how to actually add the scoreboard, first of all, I want to make sure that everybody is on the exact same page. So the main thing right away is making sure that you have the right permission level of operator. Now, if you don't have operator, your friend or whoever the host is, he can just give you this actual command itself um, or obviously give you like say a member command and add things to it, or a custom command even a custom command is what I actually mean there and um, but what you need to make sure you've got is obviously the ability to be able to operate commands and that's obviously one of the main things right away once you've got that the next thing you're going to want to double check that you've got on for your world is cheats and of course command blocks now <clears throat> I know it seems like almost common knowledge that everybody should obviously have these things activated when doing this because you know these are kind of common knowledge you need to have cheats enabled and obviously command blocks enabled but obviously there is somebody maybe watching this that is new to the game who does know how to do this so yeah there you guys go right there make sure you hit pause going to game settings and turn these two little boxes on and yeah without further ado that is you pretty much ready to do this entire command now so to begin with we're going to obviously explain how to actually get this thing i guess all up and running so let's put in the command itself and i've got a lot of this already kind of presets a little bit quicker but let's just jump right into it so we're going to do forward slash scoreboard and then objectives now i've obviously spelled objectives wrong here so i'm just going to fix that real quick forward slash objectives add and then you're going to put the currency that you want to add to the game so what i mean by this is generically and whatnot what you'd put is um let's say you want to add a you know a currency to your map that shows like a scoreboard for everybody like who has so much money in your world maybe a lot of you guys might be trying to do this even you could just add simply money all right but that means the actual world actual currency that everybody will be able to see like how much money they own will just be displayed as money for me for instance i'm going to display mine as cat coin because that just seems like the more kind of cool thing for me and then after that you're going to want to just put dummy and that's legit all you want to put in there so it's just that right once it's activated you should see it pop up at the top left it says added new objective cat coin successfully now again there is a command right here this will all be down below in the description if i do go a little bit too fast for some of you guys but it's forward slash scoreboard objectives add and then obviously the money name that you want to name it you can name this whatever you want and then dummy now from here as you can see we don't have it on our screen yet which means obviously you know we still need to settle that part up but that is the actual currency kind of name put in place and from there what we can do is once again go back into our chat commands actual area put forward slash scoreboard objectives and again i need to i just i guess uh modify this real quick because i spelled that wrong sorry about that and then from there we want to put set display so we're going to put set display where is that here hold up should normally pop up set and then display di and there we go right here sorry guys <laughs> normally sorry you can't like pre up i could just do the quick way one but i don't mind just typing it manually anyway it's not a big deal but yeah set display and then we're going to put sidebar and then from there guys then we can obviously just add our actual name of our currency so if you have your currency named for instance like me catcoin that's where you'd put catcoin if it's money that's where you put money etc from here though once you've done that you can see it pops up in the top left and then at the middle right hand side of the screen you'll see it actually says catcoin and that's where your currency will be getting shown to all the players in the world now from here if you do want to add money to your yourself or you know take money away or whatever it is it is again very 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 simple we're going to open up our actual chat and command actual log area and then from here we're going to do slash scoreboard so let me get this again here it's slash scoreboard players and then we're going to put obviously uh, what's it players add and then I've got it here, it's at S, so this will be for yourself. You can obviously do this for everybody in the game or yourself or whatever. It's entirely your choice, obviously, but I'm gonna put at S, then we're gonna put cat coin, the actual name of the money, and then from there, we're just gonna add the amount that we wanna add in. So for me, I'm gonna add in my exact subscriber count right now, 37,476, and bada bing bada boom, look at that, little, look at that, look, that actually looks pretty cool, you know what I'm saying? You guys can see right there, when I'm walking around, obviously it shows the money and whatnot, you guys can see your actual username, and then in red, the amount of money that you have. Now this is amazing for shops or for business, season one off you want to make an actual work in economy world you can do this with these commands which is pretty awesome now if you're curious if you want to take money away from a player like say you uh you know buy something from a player like a building or whatever it may be or land or whatever you can easily just take it away by doing the exact same command again but clicking instead of add you want to put remove and that's legit all you have to do a little kind of quick i guess edit and that's you guys so you can see right there removed it all bada bing bada boom where bada bing bada boom i can both speak bada boom we're back down to zero now from here if anybody is curious as you know entirely how you have to set this whole thing up once again all these commands will be down below in the description so you guys can check it out but if you want to say remove this entirely so 
let's say, uh, you know, let, let's just say metaphorically, you get sick and tired of looking at the cat clone thing on your screen and you want it gone and you know, you don't like it or whatnot. Very easily to remove it, you just have to do pretty much what you've already done right there. Uh, I can actually probably jump back to an even older one. There we go right there, that's awesome like this. So we're gonna put slash scoreboard objectives and then, we're, then what we're gonna wanna put is remove and then the name of the actual currency again. So if it was money, it would be money. If it's cat coin, it'd be cat coin. And as you guys can see right there, that's it being removed entirely. Now, you can modify this a lot more. You can make it so there's multiple different kind of currencies. So you could have, say you have different cities inside your world. You can make it so that, for instance, you know, one city's got cat coin, one city's got money, one city's got this, one city's got that. Um, it's really not that hard to set up, guys. I'm sure you got a hold of it, but that is how to set up the work and scoreboard in your world with ease, everybody. So yeah, I hope that did go to help a lot of you guys out, of course. It is fairly simple. And I hope my tutorial for my, my second ever command block or command tutorial wasn't too hard to understand, but yeah. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of today's video. If it did go to help a lot of you guys out or you did go to enjoy it, please be sure to drop a like and share it with your friends and family. It helps my videos out a lot. And also, if you have an additional second as well, please be sure to subscribe to help the channel reach 40,000 subscribers. And before I end this video fully, I just want to give full credit and obviously a bit of a shout out, of course, as well to the legend himself, Mr. Insane Orbits, for giving me this idea. Insane Orbits is a great guy. He's an absolute lad, honestly. Um, he definitely does deserve a way more a way more support on his channel. So please be sure to go check him out if you haven't already. We're currently now just starting to work together on YouTube and he's helping introduce me into the Minecraft, I guess, commands community. And he's an absolute lad, an absolute gent, and you guys should definitely go check him out. So his channel will be linked down below. Other than that, thank you guys for watching today's video. And uh, yeah, guys, I'll see you guys on the next one. Have a fantastic day or night wherever you all are. And yeah, peace out. Thank you.